Coming to you from Chardonnay Golf Club. Playing up in Napa, California. We got the Imperial Tees at 6,600 yards. And we're just aiming for the house here on number two. Everyone seems to be going a little bit right. Nice. I take a little different approach. I go a little bit left, end up in the fairway bunker, which you can see here. And bunkers aren't really sand. They're like wet clay. You can see it on the bottom of my sole there. I was able to get on. Got a nice little bounce there. The greens here were just beautiful. Just perfect condition, rolling true, great speed. And they didn't harden out as they got warmer throughout the day. So, you know, really love that about this course. You know, it started out just perfect weather and just kind of got warmer as the day went on. You know, it's nap before you. Here we got some beautiful approach shots. And I love the, just the green grass and the blue sky and the golden hills of California here. We're all just burning edges on this hole. That was my birdie putt. Kevin here just can't get one to fall. This par three was really beautiful. Uh, you can see on the, the shot looking back, look at the bridge there, yeah. Just very cool. Macho fishing out. Here you want to go right over, right at the, the house out there. Maybe a little bit off to the right. I find myself in the fairway there. Dog leg right. Here, a nice little approach shot again. You can see the ball kind of against that blue backdrop. We we'll love that. All the tee boxes were somewhat elevated, so you, you hit a nice drive. You know, you can see kind of where you're hitting it. And then you're rewarded with a nice flat shot. Josh was having trouble with the driver all day. He's leaving himself in some tough spots, and he's gone low here before, so I can understand the frustration. Here we're all laying up. Kevin, on the other hand, can get there in two, so he does just that. A little bit over the green. Meanwhile, I'm staring this one down. This is right at the pin. I loved I loved it as soon as it left the golf club. You know, I find myself in birdie territory. I don't get that all that often. Again, Josh with the frustration there. That's where I ended up. Nice little tap in birdie. Got the flap in the wings. And this part three, probably the highest place on the entire property, highest elevation. This green was super skinny and super slanted left to right. And you can see it in the next shots here. So Kevin here, I, I can't believe this shot. Just nestles top of the shelf and the ball's like, hey, you know, I want to go see my friend the hole. Let me drive down there and you know, park, park right next to it. So easy par for him. Well, easy. Uh, I say that now, but here you can see the slope. There, there are probably five tiers in all on this on this green. Josh is able to put it there with the plane and the moon in the background. I had two looks at this hole, uh, putting right in front of me or right right behind me, and none of us even sniff it. Just a tough one all around. The frust frustration continues for Josh. The theme oh, of the day for him. Meanwhile, I'm on the other end of the spectrum. I was piping my drives all day. I grab a tease early. You know, oh. that's a uh, huge benefit. This is one of my favorite shots from Josh. This and another one on the par three later on. That one, had, he had a little push draw here. I'm hitting my hybrid in the slow mo, and I had a nice little baby draw at about 35 yards and got up and down for birdie. So I felt good about that. Two birdies on the card coming in at 37 on the front. One of my best. So oh. feeling good at this point. This is number 10. Dog leg left, trying to cut the corner. There's a left bunker, and you can tell we're just right in the middle of the vineyard. So you can kind of see where it's shaped there, the vineyard out to the left. That's right where Kevin goes. He goes, draws right over it. Just glad I got this swing in film. This is pretty. Put that one out there. Macho. Macho's swing is coming together, too. He's been oh, taking that's lessons. that's beauty, buddy. Um, you know, getting out there playing golf. So I didn't see it. Kevin's getting on there in two. Eagle putt. Just missed it. Tap in birdie for him. Now, and look at these backdrops, though. Can't get enough of it. So a nice, nice simple hole here. Here's the par three I was telling you about with Josh's shot that I loved. Love it right between the trees. Here he hits a little stinger here, right, right to the right of the tree on the right trees. There it goes. Curves right back to the hole. Just great, great shot for him. Me on the other hand, I tug mine a little bit left. Not too thrilled about it, but if I played this hole again, I, I kind of know where to miss. But here, yeah, right. pipe one. Up. Come down after a, a tough par three. I like that. I like the par three is relatively tough today. Here's, here's my approach shot after hitting another fairway. Just Like I said, the theme today. Flew it right over the flag at about five feet. I'm thinking right edge here. Just a little tap in. Birdie? Oh, nope. 
I think that was the third lip out on that hole alone. Kind of just looking at it. I couldn't believe it. The hole is regulation size. I still don't think it's regulation size. Here's just another viewpoint looking down in this par three, about 170 yards. I tugged mine a little bit left. Macho is over it. He yeah. had a nice little cut. Ended up a little bit short, but one of the better holes for him. This one you want to could go right through the fairway. You want to miss it a little bit right. Not that far right. So I ended up in the bunker, big old bunker over there to the right. Uh, I was go. able, nice approach shot. Got over that creek where he just hit his, hit the tree there, and you know I was able to get get there for par. Oh, so baby, come on, get if there. I could play the par fives like I did, I I'd be super thrilled. This is a little par three. We had a tough time getting the number here, which you can hear us chatting about what Kevin just said. I think he had a nine iron. He says, Kevin, you hit a. But we had a number at one forty five. Three of us hit the green, but I'd say the closest was probably Josh. Oh, I'm gonna dip it there. Oh no, it's, it's a great wet. swing. Just a little. Just a little pull, a little draw, overdraw. He was about pin high. Macho taking a pitching wedge from 145. Oh, threw it about 20 feet over the flag. It, it was right on the flag, just a little bit deep. Crushed that pitching wedge. For me, this is the drive of the day. Oh, I hit this about 300 yards, trying to go over that left bunker wow. out there, and I do just that. Just admire that one for a little bit longer before I grab my tee. Really like that one. So, Ooh, yeah, overall, good day. I mean, I shot an 80. I don't know about the other boys. Oh, I don't remember their scores, but I know Josh was a little bit frustrated. Macho with the fairway finder. A little off balance there, but he's staring at it like he's a pirate on a ship looking at land. <laughs> oh, I got just didn't, didn't get this one to draw back. Uh, this one is tough, little, little green here. Don't want to miss right. Josh does that. I do the same. I hit a little push, but I, uh, Kevin hit a little bit. Hit Roll. his a little bit fat, and so he was okay. Yeah, you can tell here. I'm just aimed a little bit right, so you know alignment just a little bit off. Probably not the best aiming spot. I should have been more middle of the green. That, that pin was tucked back there to the right. Here I'm not. I'm not aiming far enough to the left, and I'm a little bit frustrated, but with myself. Although I had a great recovery shot, to get there in two. Um, but ended up parring, couldn't get up and down for that birdie. Josh's frustration continues. Overall, though, just a great day. You know, oh, definitely buddy. want to go play there again. You put um, on that. Hoping we can all go low next time. Oh,